longer this pandemic grips the world, the harder it's going to be for small businesses to survive. There's an economic survey out about COVID-19's impact on the coastal bend, and it is not encouraging. Our Andy Liscano has that story for us. You could never tell by looking at how busy it is at Panjo's Pizza that at least 40% of local businesses closed two weeks ago. But Stephen Glenn, the general manager here, couldn't be happier about his business. How much longer can you survive? We're doing great. Look at the line. These are the results of an economic impact survey done in March by the Corpus Christi Regional Economic Development Corporation in conjunction with A&M Corpus Christi. The results are based on nearly 400 survey returns from nearly 900 business owners, people in real estate, retail, the food service industry, and construction, among others, who received them. Dr. Jim Lee, the school's chief economist, paints this picture based on the survey results. We're talking about just two weeks ago, we, uh, we had close to 40% of business were, you know, were being closed down and that number is supposed to be the higher right now. Financing is the greatest concern here, according to the survey. Not only did 40% of businesses close, the survey shows they experienced 40% revenue loss, 18% had to lay people off, but 68% reported they were still at full staff, again, as of two weeks ago. I spoke with two contractors about the economic impact. One of them tells me, yes, business was down as much as 60% a couple of weeks ago, but he put money in the bank in anticipation, so he's doing okay. The other one told me, yeah, business was down a couple of weeks ago, but it's picking back up. Dr. Lee says at some point, national, state, and local leaders have to decide between public health or the revenue from sales tax because small businesses in particular can't survive much longer. I speak up this to survey and made it very clear that um, actually more than half the businesses will close down for good if they don't, they, they continue to, to stop the income stream in, 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 six, in, in six weeks. Andy Luscano, Action 10 News. Now, the results of a second survey conducted by Dr. Lee are expected to be released on Friday. We'll keep you updated on this story for sure.